in first and second corinthians 13 5 examine yourself whether you be in the faith don't you know your own self how that christ be in you except you be reprobates and in chapter 9 of first corinthians he says I don't fight as one uncertainly, one who beats against the air, but I buffet my body and bring it under and make it my slave, lest after having preached to others, I myself should be a castaway, a reprobate, a reject. So we need to understand that as he said in Romans 8 13 if we live after the flesh we will die but if we through the Holy Spirit put to death the deeds of the body we shall live but the only way that the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ dwells in us as he says in Romans 8 9 and if and you're not in the flesh but in the Spirit if so be that the Spirit of God dwells in you if anyone has not the Spirit of Christ he's none of his there's only one way that he dwells in you as he said in Romans 8 10 the body is dead because of sin that means we are planted into him in the likeness of his death through water baptism and we, we have to understand that this is the faith this is the faith examine yourself whether you be in the faith you know Christ dwells in us we don't need someone else to tell us for he says in in uh, Romans chapter 8 that his spirit bears witness with our spirit you know and if we have a spirit bearing witness with us and we haven't been planted together in the likeness of his death then it isn't his spirit and that's just the truth you know and don't lie to yourself because on that day when he says depart from me I never knew you it's going to be whether or not that you believed that God raised him from the dead and you were planted and you were baptized into him and into his death and entered into that faith so